Hi there, this is Bobook Bike, and this is a um, review and how to use for the um, Sharper Image car drain. So, um, this drone um, is not the best drone that you can get, but um, it if you understand how to use it, then it, it shouldn't be that hard. So, it was about... I apologize for the car noise, by the way, but it was about um, $100, but it, I think the price is lower now, um, and I got it a few years ago, actually, so it's not in the best shape because it was crashed off of a cliff, causing two wheels to come off, um, but that was like three years ago, so, um, but, so it's, it's not, other than that, it's going to look the same as yours. So, um, let's look at the controls first, so. First of all, it comes with a charger, um, and there's a red light, and it's, after it turns off, then it's done charging when you plug it in. This doesn't charge, though. It has three AAA batteries, I'm pretty sure. And so, there's a power button, so you have to turn both things on first. And then, um... After you turn it on, you need to go, like, push this up and then down to get it ready, and then it'll beep. And then, you, this is how you go up in elevation, and then this is how you go down. But if you push it all the way down, then it's just gonna, like, cut the power to it, and it will fall like a rock. And that's, that, that can make it crash. So you need to l make it go down slowly. The line button can align it. The land button, though, I've had trouble with, at least on this drone, because it makes it kind of just, like, go out of control. Like, I thought it would make it land, but it made the controls not work anymore, and then it just all of a sudden fell. Like, it went super high and then fell off of a cliff. That's why it crashed. And so, you can spin, you can trim. I think trim makes it, um, have, uh... A, what am I trying to say? I think it it makes it not turn as much when it like not quite as hard of a turn. This other um, joystick, if you go up, it makes it go forward, not up in elevation, just forward, and then back. Down is back. Left is left, and then right is right. And that's pretty much what the controls are. But, um, well, sorry, I forgot about these. These are for driving on the ground. Also, I think this can work for driving on the ground. So, let's turn it on. So, before I get started, um, it comes with extra blades in case they fall off. So, just keep that in mind. So, um, let me set up the camera so that I don't have to hold my camera while um, flying it. Okay, so go up and down and then now it can fly. Oh, it's stuck on something. So it's best not to do it on a place like this where there's a whole bunch of things where they get caught on. I just had to make the video over here. So. Thank you. 
Okay, so you kind of get the idea. I'm going to move it over to the grass. I'm able to do that because um, the reason why I had to be in a place like this is because I didn't want to record anybody without them wanting to uh, be on it. So uh, let me go over there now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, that's about it for this video. Just, I have some... Oh. Started flying by itself. That's not good. There. So, yeah, that's that's one of the complaints I have. It, it should be easier to control. Another thing is that you, you can't tell which way is the back sometimes, so you get mixed up with that. And, um... Yeah, that, that's really only two things. Like, it should be a little bit easier to control. You can stay, like, drifting at the same place, but it always has to move, so that's the problem with it, but that, that's it.